Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We've got new details regarding a potential new media rights agreement between All Elite Wrestling and Warner Brothers Discovery. So now Tony Khan has been teasing for quite some time now that when his company does announce a new media rights agreement, it will make AEW the second most profitable wrestling company in history. Longtime sports business reporter John Arand published a report yesterday stating that he's been told a formal announcement of a new media rights agreement between WBD and AEW could come as soon as next week. So according to John Arand, we're going to find out the details of this agreement very, very soon. Some key figures of the deal, according to John Arand, are that it would be for four years, that would be three years guaranteed, plus an option year. And he writes that the $170 million per year number floating around wrestling message boards is apparently in the ballpark. And I like the idea of John Arand just scouring wrestling message boards for, for new information regarding this deal. Also, according to the deal, AEW programming will air on TNT, TBS, and also True TV, and this would be twice a week for all three networks, and this is apparently part of WBD's strategy to make TBS and True TV more sports-oriented. He also writes that AEW is pitching another package primarily to broadcast channels. And so you may have heard that AEW trademarked the term AEW Shockwave, which could be the name of a potential new show. There have been rumors that they have been negotiating with Fox. Now, this wouldn't necessarily mean that AEW programming would air on Fox, but like a Fox channel such as FS1. So John Arand writes... This deal marks a clear success for AEW, which launched five years ago with a threshold WBD deal. Now, there is one big question left regarding this deal after reading John Aran's report, and that is what happens with AEW's pay-per-view content. Now, there had been a lot of rumors that AEW pay-per-views would be moving to the streaming service Max. However... Nothing about pay-per-views are mentioned in John Oran's report here. So we don't know if the $170 million annually that WBD will be paying for AW programming, if that includes the pay-per-views or if it doesn't. So Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, he spoke a bit about this on Wrestling Observer Radio recently, and he said whether this deal includes the pay-per-views or it doesn't include the pay-per-views, it still makes AEW the second most profitable company in history. But obviously, if their pay-per-view revenue goes on top of that $170 million, that's a, a lot of additional revenue for them. So here is what Meltzer had to say about the deal. He said, if it's $170 million not including the pay-per-views, that's one number. If that includes the pay-per-views, it's not as big of an increase. It's not really technically a doubling of the rights fees they'd received previously, but it would be a substantial increase. And Meltzer also noted that another key area for revenue growth for AEW in the next year will be international TV rights agreements, uh, particularly on stations and in countries that are losing the WWE programming that they had when all of that moves to Netflix next year. So that opens the door for AEW to swoop in and uh, reach an agreement with Sony in India, Sportsnet in Canada, wherever WWE is taking their programming away and putting it on Netflix, that's an opportunity for AEW. So all of this is to say that after just five years, AEW is a tremendous business success, no matter what Eric Bischoff wants to tell you.